Okay, let's talk about uh, turning in your uh, first drafts for Project 1. I want to go through some very specific instructions on how to deal with um, images in Blackboard. So we have this uh, Discussion 3 Project 1 First Drafts. Um, usually you would click on this link, but right now, um, let's see if it was working. I think it is. Yes, it is. So I'm going to create a thread like we did in, pro in the, the sketches. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to type in Rebecca's first drafts. And put the word project. Put the word project one. Now you might want to um, put some sort of description in there. Again, if you want to uh, look at the critique guide, that's a great place um, to uh, figure out some talking points. I also provided an AIG, AIGA website last week um, about critique. I put that in this week's stuff as well. So description would go there, your thought process, um, maybe your opinion on which one you think works better and why. And so you do a little explanation. Now to insert an image, uh, what I want you to do is go ahead and insert the JPEGs. Um, to do that, you would click on this small icon right here. Let me zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So you can see a little bit better. This icon is the insert or edit image. So I click on that. Now I'm going to get this window that pops up. I'm going to click on the Browse My Computer, excuse me, and I go to my Project 1. I've organized my first drafts, so I'm going to post the uppercase one first. Hit Insert. I said you must provide at least one item of submission. Okay, it's thinking about it. All right, let me delete this and try this again. Browse My Computer. There we go. First draft set one uppercase. Open it. I guess we have to wait until something pops up here. There we go. Now hit insert. I don't need to uh, put an image description. Now in your um, the view here, let me hit command minus so we can see a little bit. If your JPEG is too large, which in this case it is, we mine is, you'll have to scroll around to see what the designer's intent was. That is enormous. So what you guys want to do is resize these JPEGs here in the message. Let me scroll up. This is selected. You can see how big it got in relation to the text. If you click and drag, um, you can also expand this out by the way, click and drag the corner node of that image and you may have to do this um, a few times it's really an excessively large image but what this is doing is actually reducing it down in size it's not moving it or anything it's just reducing it wow that's a really big image so sorry about this kind of thing but it does take a while I know in the last post for sketches, many of you guys had the sketches too large and you didn't know how to resize them. So I'm resizing now. Boy, that is one big image. I could be here all day. So let's go back to Illustrator. And this is a trial and error, we like to call it. I'm put those in the trash can. Open my Illustrator file. And let me export this one more time. I'll just do it as a smallest, uh, more of a smaller file size. Use the artboards. I want all of them. Hit export. Do it in grayscale. Let's take it down to two or one. This is a low quality. Uh, it's 300 pixels per inch. We're going to hit OK. Again, we're going to rename these. Just double checking to make sure that's all caps. We know number two is probably upper and lower case. I don't know why it put them out of order. U and LC. 
Etsy. And number three was lowercase. Okay, so just like you guys, I have a problem with images are too big. Now this is much smaller. Let's see if this will work. So again, I've got my cursor in my message, my thread rather. Click on that icon <clears throat> to attach or to insert an image. Click browse my computer. Click uppercase first. Insert it. It's okay, I don't need to name it. Now it's still going to be um, big, but it's not going to be as big. So this is as small it looks like as it would go. So again, we are going to have to reduce this down. Now if one of you figures out a way to tell it to make it um, so many pixels by so many pixels, I didn't see that as an option, but if we could specify how many pixels wide we, to make this, um, it looks like, I don't know, 500 pixels or so, 600 pixels wide, that works pretty well. Um, you could go a little wider, but that works out pretty well. Um, now I'm going to go underneath this one, hit the return key maybe a couple of times, and I'm going to insert another one. Let me make this smaller. Click on insert image. Now I'm going to again browse. I don't know why it keeps throwing the URLs in there. There we go. I want the lowercase one. Wait for it to show up here. Yeah, that shows in, in this area, but it doesn't. Uh, let's go to advanced. I was going to see if we could make it smaller. Oh, there we go. We could put our dimensions at 600 pixels by 480. That's fine. We'll constrain proportions. It'll automatically put that in there. I hit insert. I hit OK. Ah, that takes a lot less time. There we go. That's great. Now I hit my return key a couple times again. And I will go up here to insert the image. See, this new Blackboard 9 has changed since uh, what we did last semester, so I'm getting to know how to do some new things, too. So I'm going to browse my computer. I'm going to do the upper and lowercase combination. Open that. Go to Appearance. Make it 600 pixels wide. Click on the other one, and it'll automatically set that proportionally. And I'll hit Insert and OK. And it sh there, put my uh, upper and lowercase combination. Now, in addition to this, let's scroll down, we are going to attach the Adobe Illustrator file. I need those because I need to look at what you're doing with your technology. So I'm going to hit Browse My Computer, click my on my Adobe Illustrator file, and hit Open. And once I have uh, typeset everything that I need to typeset in here, um, this again is not adequate. I'm just in a, in a rush to provide a, a demonstration. But once I type everything that's uh, needed, I hit submit. But I also link the Adobe Illustrator file and here it is. So I'm clicking on this to open it. You want to open them and, and view them. That way there's no surprises for us. So here we go. There's one, two, and three. And I could typeset anything in here. If you, uh, and there's the, uh, the uh, Adobe Illustrator file that was a, uh, a link. But if you wanted to edit this and maybe add a little bit more uh, description, you can click on, if you're down below here, you'll see that um, the edit button will show up. So you can edit things if you uh, decide you need to change something. Um, so this is ready to go and ready for you guys to reply to, but please don't reply to this. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes. In fact, I think I will edit it and make sure I tell you guys, please do not critique my demonstration. Critique other student work. Okay. I'm going to submit that. There we go. So that covers how you input images, um, the advanced feature of actually resizing them, which was really cool. That's new to Blackboard 9.1, as far as I'm aware. 
and um, then you also want to do the attachment as the Adobe Illustrator and um, when you're ready to reply to each peer's post or four, only four of your peers posts you have to reply to with critique you would hit the reply button. Okay so that concludes um, the video on how to upload your pictures in a message and also include the Illustrator document as an attachment. If you have any questions, certainly get with me. But I think this pretty much covers it. I'm glad we figured out how to resize those without uh, having to work so hard. Thanks, guys.